On the Greek island of Crete, an airplane waits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful walking around the airplane. Never look away from it. It's a delicate, pampered machine, attended by a team of more than 40 designers, builders, pilots, and helpers. Listen for that rubbing in flight. If you hear any rubbing, we need to know. They have spent three years and nearly a million dollars preparing for a single 72-mile flight across the Aegean Sea. A modest goal, perhaps, except for one The engine is a human being. Today is the final shakedown flight for this plane called Daedalus, to see if it's ready for a flight more than three times farther than any human-powered aircraft has flown before. The last unknown of a bold experiment in aeronautics, material science, and physiology. Everything that can be tested has been tested, but no one can predict a gust of wind or a muscle cramp or any other mishap. But then those who push the limits of technology have always courted disaster. A few miles away lie the ancient ruins of Knossos, where a mythical inventor named Daedalus was said to have been imprisoned 3,000 years ago, along with his son, Icarus. Daedalus built wings of feathers and wax so that he and his son could fly to freedom across the sea. But Icarus was overwhelmed by the power and flew too close to the sun, which melted his wings. While Daedalus, who flew with more restraint, made it safely across. Now the heirs of Daedalus hope to recreate his mythical flight, well aware that they might just as easily recreate the flight of Icarus. They've come to appreciate the difficulty of turning myths into reality. Good flight, Canalis. Hey. To have any hope of reaching their goal, they've had to create the most efficient human powered airplane ever built. With a wingspan greater than a 727 jet, Daedalus weighs just 68 pounds and represents more than 75,000 man hours of design, construction, and testing. Looks good, Yanis. Feels right to me. Early Saturday morning, the weather appears to be perfect. Cool temperature and very light winds from the south. Canelos nervously awaits what he hopes will be the triumphant final act of the Daedalus project. Uh, command boat, this is takeoff site. Just got an update from the inflatable that was 1.6 to 2.1 meters per second from the south. Okay, fine. Well, we're going to go. It's time for Canellos to take the stage, and he does it with an inside joke for the engineers. Oh, lightning holes. <laughs> Surprise of the day. The holes in his shorts are his gesture toward the obsessive drive to reduce weight in the airplane. <laughs> we got the south wind at Santorini, we got a south wind here, we got a south wind at Dia. I think we're in uh, good shape. If it holds, the light tailwind from the south will increase the plane's speed, shortening the flight time. But Canelo still must carry a heavy six-hour supply of the energy replacement drink, just in case. Okay, I'm looking at the smoke now. Uh, we got a fairly good downdraft coming over that lip, and uh, I'd like to see him uh, three or four meters above the runway surface when he goes over that. Yeah, okay, okay. Are you uh, ready for takeoff at this time? Over. Okay, Steve. Okay, Canellos. Ella. The taxi. Take off. He's up. Well, the research part of this project is officially over.
problems at all over the lip. You look awesome. Really good, Canales. Looks great. Awesome. Here we go. Morea, Canales. Morea. What's your airspeed, Canales? 14. 14, that sounds good. Uh, what's your heart rate, over? 145. Looks beautiful up there. Better than perfect. My boots now goes to 30s, upper 30s. The Greek Navy, Coast Guard, and Air Force are on hand for emergency support and to keep the pathway clear. But Daedalus doesn't seem to need any help. The plane and pilot perform beautifully, and with a boost from the tailwind, the only concern is that it will all be over too soon. You're making about 18 knots, one eight knots. If you keep up this speed over the bottom, it's only three hours to Santorini from here, which is a piece of cake. But we'll keep you posted on the speed, over. The only landmarks now are the world records falling one by one. First down is the Gossamer Albatross straight line record of 22 miles. Then it's the Light Eagle's absolute distance mark at 37 miles. Finally, the Gossamer Albatross duration record at 2 hours and 49 minutes. But the records have become almost a footnote to the experience. The greater satisfaction now comes from the realization of a dream, a modern mythical creature, half man, half machine, living out the earliest fantasy of flight. Και ora, καλή πονηρά το εγχείρημα και εξελίσσεται όπως το είχαν προγραμματίσει με ένα κανέλο κανελόπουλο να σκίζει πραγματικά στον αέρα, να πετάει λες και είχε μηχανή μέσα. Almost four hours into the journey, Daedalus approaches its final goal, the island of Santorini. Okay, Santorini Beach, this is command boat. We're going to want you to get ready to lay the smoke for us. Uh, it's just over those boats. The flight has been flawless, almost routine. Canelos could probably keep going for hours. But the gods are not going to let the mortals off so easily. The wind is suddenly picked up. Steve, the smoke is coming out. Canelos will have to come in parallel to the beach for an upwind landing. Okay, let's get the beach clear, beach people. And uh, Canelos, I want 20 degrees to the right. Give me a good right turn. We gotta have, I want to give you plenty of room to approach that landing site. Over. Okay, don't worry. I never worry. Okay, they look good now. Okay, we've got a big headwind here. We're barely making any way at all. Um, Canelos, uh, that looks good. Maintain this heading. There are people running on the beach now. I think there's a lot of people running. Okay, well, don't worry about them. We're going to land where they aren't. Caught in the strong headwind, Canalos is having trouble approaching the beach. Okay, maintain that heading. Maintain that heading. I want the wing runners right there. He's going to set down almost vertically. Okay, you're looking good, Canalos. A little bit of a right hand correction. A little bit of a right hand correction. Easy, keep the. Uh oh. Uh oh. A gust of wind snapped the tail boom and then the wing turning Daedalus into Icarus. The first thought is for the safety of Canelos. But before the crowd can reach him, he's out of the plane and on the beach, looking refreshed after his swim. The records have been set and no one is disappointed. And while the effort may seem to be short on practical benefits, a pursuit like this can inspire progress in technology by changing ideas about where the limits lie.
If a plane can fly with a quarter horsepower engine, what else is possible? Pretty good. Would have been a little nicer if we hadn't broken it up, but it's good to be here. It's a long flight. That was easy. Huh? That yeah. was easy. The landing, the landing was the most difficult part. Ah, oh, well, we, we had not the right weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey.